This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today I'm going to take a look at G2 Core Class Megatron. I skipped on the G2 uh, Generation Select Megatron because I never read G2 uh, in the comics. This was never a character on screen. Uh, but I do think it's a very 90s deco. Uh, but the only reason I actually bought this one is because I did this with my extra sideswipe. The G2 Gobot Optimus Prime. So I figured, you know, Optimus is still bigger. So, you know, he's the strongest. So anyway, it was just something fun to get uh, because I skipped on the Gen Select one. And at that time, it was hard to skip because Larkin came out with that upgrade kit. And then Kato, PPR, and Inutabi, and Deluxe, everybody got the kit and showed their, uh, you know, no, more uh, comics accurate uh, G2 Megatron. I was like, man, why did I skip that? Uh, but yeah, still skipped it. But I'm glad for this little guy. So we're going to take a look at that. But before I do so, check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm super proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, uh, the most amazing online store. Especially if you're in the Ottawa area, uh, you can just locally pick it up and uh, save on shipping, but his shipping is amazing. From the pictures I see, he wraps stuff really nicely. I he knows what he's doing. So check him out, and at the end of the video, you have your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. Let's take a look at this G2 figure. First, the box, standard legacy stuff, you know, nice product uh, artwork, uh, product shot is very decent, 12 steps, same as the uh, Kingdom Core class. Uh, the uh, you know same design we've seen since Wave One, and there you go. So that's interesting. The instructions they were a little smashed up, but oh, that's the don't choke, you know, which we don't care about. Uh, instructions, fair, uh, you know, really good, fair. Oh, and then you have the uh, QR code if you want to scan for stats. And then you have the figure itself. Well, you have the accessory, which is the same gun that we had in the uh, Kingdom uh, Megatron core class. It's painted, uh, well, not painted. This is gray plastic, as is most of this guy. And I have to say, you could have used maybe, I don't know, purple hands, I think. But you know, to break this completely green piece, uh, and you know, they have the technology because we see purple paint uh, pretty much anywhere. This is purple plastic uh, for the, uh, the fusion cannon, and it looks really good. But I mean, well, you'll see in uh, tank mode. Uh, the head, I, okay, I don't understand why the head is staying gray, like, but I've never read G2, so I don't, maybe that's. Uh, but it, it kind of sticks out but I mean it's Megatron so it I guess makes sense the black treads look really good the back you know huge kibble not many hollowness in the legs not even you know a bit of waffle here but that's about it and there's no waffle in the hands well yeah I guess you have a hole here not bad bro uh, articulation you have a 360 at the head oh which is waffly that's terrible Airhead, you have a well, you could rotate, um, you know, all around, do the Ferris wheel, but because of the backpack, you can't. You have a 90 degree elbow band, also a rotation because it's a ball joint. No rotation at the hand, the cannon will do a 360. Same on the other side, you have a whoa, tight waist rotation. There you go, so you can merry go around. You can easily do the Johnny Cage with this guy, boom, nut punch. Uh, you have a uh, kick forward, kick back, 90 degree, and no movement whatsoever at the toe. Huh. All right, and for, well, let's do some size comparison. Let's give him back his gun. There you go. And put him on the side. 
So here is G2 Megatron with Earthrise Megatron. The only Megatron I had and I like him. Other green robot hauler and power of the prime or Titan returns. I don't recall brawn. Another green bot. So now Megatron's a mini bot. And now let's do transformation. Want to remove the gun. And basically you want to take this whole thing here to give you the front end. And we're done. It looks okay. Uh, I think they went for the Earthrise look. But I have a couple gripes. First, the big gap. I mean, I wish there was a way that this whole section could have been lowered to arrive even with uh, the tank treads. I think that would have made... Because now it's, you know, you can look straight through. I mean, sure, there's, you know, mobility. Um, the cannon can, well... Cannon can go up, but I don't know. I think it sticks out a little too much uh, And then the legs they don't clean up that nicely underneath you have the whole robot showing um, yeah, It's it's not the greatest uh, the cannon This looks good, but they should have painted this one purple too so that you have one You know unicolored uh, cannon purple would have been fine would have made more sense because I'm pretty sure in uh, the comics he probably have just one uh, purple cannon. And but he looks he looks okay. I mean the G2 logo that's uh, interesting. Uh, I I discovered these uh, G2 logos like maybe three years ago. I had no idea they changed. Uh, you know when uh, they did the uh, G2 line. So yeah, I mean I'm not super impressed with the alt mode. Um, same, I wasn't that impressed with uh, the Kingdom versions uh, alt mode either. But he uh, looks, uh, you know, he looks good. And the uh, 90s colors, it, that's always a, uh, a plus for the nostalgia. Let's do some quick size comparison with fellow green bot Acid Storm, other green bot Cosmos from the Velocitron, Speedia 500, Legacy, blah blah blah. And uh, the Snake Guy Battle Master thing from Earthrise. Snake Core? Nah, that's not right. I don't know, this guy. All right, so let me put this uh, Megatron back into robot mode. And in the end, this is the reason why I bought, well, not the reason, but I wanted to have a uh, representation of G2 Megatron, especially since I had a uh, kind of version of G2 Optimus Prime. This is the Sideswipe uh, redecoed by Toy Hacks into the G2 GoBots uh, Optimus Prime. So, you know, Optimus is still stronger. He's still bigger. So anyway, that was just my quick review of uh, the G2 Core Class Legacy Megatron. And I hope uh, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I love reading those. Keep coming back, I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives the right to be an asshole. Take care.